Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number 22. This is grade 8 mathematics. Before we look at today's work, I would like to give the answers to the work that you're supposed to do in your practice question. So we are supposed to work out to simplify this in simplest form. So we need to find out the highest common factor of 21 and 81. So we can do so by listing all the factors of 21. If we list all the factors of 21, we have 1, we have 3, we have 7, and we have 27, 21 itself. Okay. Then if we lift all the factors of 81, 81, the factors of 81 are 1, 3, 9 right and 81 itself all right so those are the factors of 81 so now what we need to do we should now identify the highest common factor in the two of the two numbers and if we do so we'll find out that the highest common factor will be 3 okay they just add 27 here. 27 is also a factor of 81. So the highest common factor is 3 and 3. All right, so we should divide now this fraction, each number by 3. And if we do that, insert a fraction. So 3 goes into 21. We know that it goes at 7 times and 3 goes into 81 27 times okay and there's no other number that can divide 7 and 27 apart from 1 so this is the simplest form of 21 over 81 okay so if you do the same thing for this example here you find out that the highest common factor of 21 so you figure out that the highest common factor so what you need to do you just list the factors like i did here so you list the factors of uh, 25 and the factors of 100 and if you do that you find out that the com the highest common factor of 25 and 100 is 25 itself okay so 25 is the highest common factor so so please try to list the factors of 20 25 and 100 like the way i've done here for 21 and 81 so if you divide this fraction by 21 the denominator and the numerator if you do the same if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 25 you end up with 1 over 4 because because uh, 25 goes in itself one, one, star, one time, sorry, and 25 goes into 100 four times. All right, so the simplest form of 25 over 100 is none other than 1 over 4. Okay, all right, let's move over to today's work. Today's work, we are going to look at finding equivalent frictions all right so although we have discussed this already in the previous lesson i just want to give an example that probably make you understand when it comes to equivalent frictions okay what what is important here is that you need to understand that equivalent fractions simplify to the same fraction so if you have two fractions and those fractions are said to be equivalent then it means they will simplify to the same fraction all right so an example so let's say we have example let's say we have we insert okay come on friction let's say we have let's say we have two out of two out of eight okay and the other friction is the other fraction is uh, 10 over 
40. Now these two fractions are equivalent. Why am I saying that they're equivalent? They're equivalent because they will simplify to the same fraction and that fraction will be 1 over 4. Alright, so 2 goes in itself, how many times? Once, 2 goes into 8, 4 times, so that's 1 over 4. 10 goes in itself, 1 time, 10 goes into 44 times. So, we can see these two fractions are equivalent and they because we can say because they simplify to let me just make this small so they're equivalent and they simplify to the same fraction and that same fraction is none other than 1 over 4. So this equivalent because they simplify to the same fraction. Alright, I hope that is making sense. The other point that you need to remember is that equivalent fractions are equal and have the same value. So we can say that this fraction is equal to this. You probably have done this in grade 7 okay so you have done this so much in grade seven so what i'm trying to do here is just uh, revision 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 okay so now let us look at this example here okay so example number one says there are four learners so four learners have been rewarded with a chocolate for their good work mm -hmm. they they do not eat up immediately but only ate up the section that has that has been colored all right it's so only the colored section that they eat up okay so let us look at this so papaya got a chocolate and it made up of six parts papaya only ate up two parts out of six mm -hmm. peter got the chocolate the same size though they all got the same size as you can see they all got the same size so peter got uh, a cho the same size chocolate but this one is divided into three parts so peter only ate up one part kayla on the other hand kayla got the same size of the chocolate of course and that chocolate is divided into nine parts one two three four five six seven eight nine okay she only ate up three parts while kauna she also got the same size but her chocolate is divided into 12 parts and she only ate up four okay so let's look at the question what fraction does each one eat aha uh -huh. okay what fraction does each one eat so pit papa ate up Two out of six. Peter ate up of Peter's. Peter ate up one out of six. Sorry, one out of three. Okay, one out of three. And Kayla ate up three out of nine. And Kauna ate up four out of twelve. Okay, so that is the answer for the first part. So the second part says, what do you notice about the fractions eaten? Okay, so let's do this. So remember that Papua ate up three out of. I mean, two out of six. Okay, and if we simplify this one, this one will simplify to 1 out of 3. To simplify to 1 out of 3. Okay, Peter ate up 1 out of 3, and it's already in simplest form. Alright, Peter ate up 1 out of 3, and it's already in simplest form. Kayla ate up 3 out of 9. 3 out of 9, and if we simplify 8 out of 9, let me just try to make this bigger. Because I have a feeling that it is not big enough. Okay, nice. So, Kayla ate up 3 out of 9. And if we simplify that, it will also simplify to 1 out of out of 3. Alright, so the highest common factor of 3 and 9 is 3. 3 goes in itself one time. 3 goes into 9 3 times. Kauna ate up 4 out of 12. Mm, 4 out of 12. All right, and that simplifies to 1 out of 3. Okay, so 4 goes in itself one time, 4 goes into 12 three times. Okay, so my friends, as you can see here, let me make it red. All these people, they have eaten up the same size of their chocolate. So meaning that 
our answer for part for, for 1.2 1.2 says what do you notice about the friction fractions eaten so our answer will be the fractions eaten are all equal to 1 out of 3 and they are equivalent so meaning that they all have eaten up the same size okay let me just make this bigger so they have all eaten up the same size of their chocolates so because 2 out of 6 3 out of 9 and 4 out of 12 they all simplify to 1 over 3 equivalent fraction so all we can say that all these four fractions they are equivalent all right so i hope by now you know how to simplify equivalent fractions you should know how to find equivalent fractions okay because i have an activity for you here that you should do take a picture and whatsapp to me activity number one you are to fill in the missing number in the following statement 99 over 132 is the same thing as 33 over a missing number you must find that missing number and then um, activity number two write down five fractions your okay five fractions okay that are equivalent to one out of five all right my friends thank you for watching and i'll see you in video number 23